All right, in this video, I'm going to do this great circle problem, and um, I'm going to uh, show you how I set them up. And then I'll probably run through a couple different ways of using my calculator. And the calculator I'm using today is a TI-30X2S. Page um, 612 of Bowditch 2, 1981, which is the Bowditch that's available in the exam room. You're going to go down here, and there's equation 36. It's this cosine D formula. And here's the rule that we're going to use for uh, equation 36 which basically says that if you cross the equator, um, okay, this rule right here, it says if you cross the equator, uh, you're going to have to treat L2 as a negative quantity, all right? So, um, so this is what I'm going to do as I think about doing this problem, all right? There's my formula. I'm going to draw a picture. I'm really going to draw a picture for the longitude, okay? So I understand um, if I'm supposed to add or subtract my uh, longitude to get D low. And then I'm going to contemplate whether or not I cross the equator, after I do that, I'm going, to cross, I'm going to calculate my D low. I'm going to convert L1, L2, and D low to degrees, decimal degrees, so I can stick them into this formula. And then I'm going to plug and chug. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's first draw our picture here. Okay. So I'm going to draw this from the uh, polar view. Okay. That's the North Pole. This is uh, the prime meridian. That's the date line. And this is uh, L1. This is longitude 1. This is L2. This is longitude 2. So let's see, it's going to go from 144 or something or other east, that's longitude 1, to west. Okay, so here is where longitude 2 is. So I'm going in this direction, okay, and I cross the prime meridian. So what that's going to tell me here is, is that I've got to add those two and then subtract from 360. That's probably the easiest way to do that. So there's my picture. I'm going to go L1, I'm going to go L2, and I'm going to go D low over here. Okay, okay, great. So now... One of the things with this L2 is I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to go plus or minus. And the reason I put that in there is that, so I know that I should treat it a positive or negative. So I'm going to look here. What's the sign of L1? It's north. What's the sign of L2? It's north. That means it's positive. Okay? So I'm going to add those. Uh, so I'm going to treat L2 as a positive because I didn't cross the equator. All right? So, great. So now I'm going to go uh, 35, uh, 17.6. All right? And I'm going to go, uh, let's see, I'm adding these, uh, what's latitude to? 4736, 4736, all right. And then my longitudes are 144.23 and 124.22, all right. So great. And I know from this picture that I got to add them and then I'm going to have to subtract from 360. All right, so let's calculate this. So if I'm going to add those, that's 5, yeah, 4. And then this is 8, that's 6, 268.45. Okay, great. And now I'm going to subtract that from 360, which I'm going to make 359.60. I'm just going to go ahead and borrow one from the 360 right off the bat. 268.45, that gives me 15, 1, uh, what is that, 4 and 5 is 9. Okay, so that's 91.15. Okay, and I went to the east in that case. Great. Now, I did that. All right, so I've drawn my picture. I've contemplated rule two, uh, the rule, okay, about L2. I calculated my D low. Now I'm going to uh, convert L1, L2, and D low to degrees. And I have to convert them to degrees because I'm going to be using this formula. And it's full of trig functions, okay? And i got to stick degrees into those. All right. So uh, to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take, I'm going to multiply, divide that by 7, uh, at, uh, 35, 17.6. All right, so I turn this on, clear. I'm going to go 17.6 divided by 60 equals, that's uh, 0.02. Okay, great. Uh, is that right? Let me do that again. 17.6 divided by 60. Ah, there we go, 0 0.29. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to do now is, is this is basically L1 is 35.2933. I'm going to go out four decimal places, okay? All right, great. Uh, 2, okay, and L2 is going to be positive, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go 36 divided by 60 equals, okay, oh gosh, okay, uh, 32 divided by 60 is 0.6, okay, uh, so that means that this is uh, 47.6 degrees, uh, then D low, okay, so D low, well, uh, 15 divided by 60, I know that's going to be 0.25, so that's 91.25, okay, and uh, great. All right, so now I have all those in degrees. All right, now, our formula here, okay? 
a couple different ways we can deal with this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and write the formula out. Okay, cosine D equals, okay, uh, sine of L1. Now look, all right, it's inferred. This is how it's written in Bowditch, but it's inferred that there are a lot of parentheses here, okay? The parentheses are going to work such as this, okay? There's a plus sign there. So the plus sign tells you that you got to do parentheses uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the terms on either side. And this is really inferring that I'm doing multiplication, okay? I'm doing multiplication. So really, this formula should really look like cosine D equals sine L1 times sine L2, okay, plus cosine L1 times cosine L2 times cosine D low, okay? All right, great. And I got to multiply all those together before I add them to this. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and write that formula here so it's all together on one sheet. Sine times uh, sine L2 plus, and that's going to be cosine L1 times cosine L2 times cosine D low. Okay? So, now, there's a number of ways I can do this with my calculator. All right? Uh, there's parentheses around there. Great. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is... is uh, I'm going to do this problem in my calculator, and you're going to see me do the whole thing, uh, okay? So I'm going to go like this. Uh, I'm going to go uh, cosine D equals, all right, now, hang, hang with me here for a minute, all right? I've got my three terms, I've got my three inputs, okay? So this is basic use of calculator. This is what I'm going to do, basic use of calculator, all right? And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do this problem uh, what, with these numbers, I'll come back and do this problem two other ways with my calculator. All right, so if I don't want to, uh, uh, all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go like this. All right, I'm going to say uh, sine, what's L1? 35.35 point, 35 point, all right, let me get this up here. Okay, that's all right. You can't see my fingers punching, punching away at the buttons down. I don't think I got enough screen over here. All right, so you'll just see the numbers happening, okay? Um, so that's going to be sine of 35.2933. Now look, at this point, you see there's a parentheses right there. When I, when I press sine, a parentheses popped up. I've got to put the parentheses on the other side so that the calculator knows I have now stopped giving you input. I want you to do the sine function on that. If I go and hit, I multiply times sine or something else, I'm going to be doing the sine of a sine. You've got to put that parentheses. So now I go times, and I hit sign again. Now it's going to be L2, 47.6. And you see the parentheses, i got to put a parentheses there. So now I can just hit equals. Okay. Now essentially what I've done was I've done that part. All right. So this 0.4266 is the sine of L1 times the sine of L2. Now is when it gets pretty tricky uh, for PEMDAS if I don't follow the proper rules. So now I'm going to hit plus. So I'm doing this, and now I'm going to put a parentheses, okay? And now I'm going to hit cosine, and it's cosine of L1. So I'm going to go 35.2933. Now what do I got to do? I got to put a parentheses. If I don't put a parentheses, I'll be screwed. So then I go times cosine. You see it popped the parentheses up. I'm going to have to put a second parentheses in there. 47.6 parentheses times cosine. And now there are popped up the parentheses. I'm going to have to add one at the end, 91.25. 91.25 parentheses. That's the parentheses that closed that. But I want to now, uh, well, I, I, I really technically I should put another parentheses that closes this term. If I don't, though, the calculator knows what to do. And I go like that. Okay, so cosine of D equals, and I'm going to take this out four digits, point. 4146. Oh, God. 4146. Okay. 0. 0.4146. Now, on the exam, if you're using your calculator like this, okay, like I'm going to want you to do all this. You're going to have to show me all these inputs, how you calculated them. Okay. You must show me your inputs. And then I'm going to want to see this number here as well. Okay. Um, and uh, in one of these videos in a minute, I'll show you how to actually do this. Like when you're on a Coast Guard exam, you can do this without writing anything down. I'll show you how to do that. But for the exam, you're proving me that you know how to do this method, not just happen to maybe accidentally guess the right answer, A, B, C, D. So anyway, you're gonna, I'm going to require you to do that. Now, the next step is, is going to be to say that D is cosine, the inverse cosine of 0.4146. Well, how do I do that? Well, that's actually pretty easy. 
the next step of my calculator is, is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go second cosine. So I'm telling it to do that. And then I'm going to go second. I'm going to press the second button again. Okay. So I press second cosine. Now I'm going to press the second button again, second. And I'm going to press this ants button down here. Okay. And what that does is it, it took, uh, it took the answer, uh, from, of the 0.4146, which is the last thing I entered and it stuck it in there. And so my D is 65.50, 65.503 degrees. Okay. So now that is my distance, but it's in units of degree. And typically we like to have our distance in units of miles or minutes. So what do I got to do now? I got to multiply this whole thing times 60. Okay. So D, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to go times 60. And my answer is 3,930.2 miles. 3,930.2 miles.